Yum, these beetroot smash burgers are such a great easy way to add more veg into a weeknight meal. Let's talk about the beetroot first up. So I'm going to do something a little bit different and roast my beetroot first. And I'm gonna just peel that beetroot and cut it into chunks. This is so much easier than grating raw beetroot. I always find it makes such a big mess. This is so much better. Okay, so that goes onto a roasting tin with a little bit of oil and then a good sprinkling of salt. Just roast that for 30 minutes until it's beautifully soft and charry at the edges. And now we're gonna make a bit of a flavor base for our veggie burgers. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of oil and then some onion. And then I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt to the onion. I always like to season my onion as they're cooking. It seems to make them a little bit sweeter as they cook. Now don't skimp on the cooking time here for your onions. You want those sugars to caramelize and that onion flavor to really develop. Okay, so they're looking nice and soft now. So I'm gonna add in my garlic. And at this point, I'm looking for that onion to start to really go golden at the edges. Mm, that smells so good already. And here comes the flavor. So I have some garam masala, which is a mixture of Indian spices, generally available in the spice section of your supermarket, and smoked paprika. Go for the smoked that has that really lovely flavor. And then because I like things a bit spicy, I'm gonna add in some chili powder, but you can totally leave that out if you want. Now just cook that for a few more seconds until I can really smell all those spices. Yum, okay, now take that off the heat and let that cool down. So now that those onions are nice and cool, I'll put those into my blender along with that beautiful chari roasted beetroot. Now just give that a head start in the blender. Now I'm gonna add some cooked lentils and I've just used canned lentils, drained them, that's easier for a weeknight. So pour that in, and we just want one egg. Blend that, mm, it's starting to come together nicely. Now this mixture is looking pretty good, but I need it to firm up a little bit more. So I'm gonna add in some rice flour. You could also use almond meal. Um, using those two means that we're keeping this gluten free, which is good. Okay, so just empty that out into a bowl and time to make our smash burgers. Now the great thing about this is you don't have to sit there and form the patties. We're gonna go straight from bowl to frying pan. So just scoop in about a quarter, heaped quarter cup full of mixture into that hot oil. You can leave it sort of in a bit of a ball shape for the moment. Now take the back of a spoon and just sort of gently push and spread those patties out a little bit. Mm, all those spices, it's really starting to smell great. Now, once I can see that it's starting to look nice and charred on the bottom, I'm gonna flip those over and then push down. And this is where we're gonna get the smash burger part of our dish. Look at that crispy, crunchy char, so good. Now just sprinkle those with a little bit of salt. Now you can assemble these any way you like. I'm going with a straight up standard burger style today. So I've got my burger bun, a bit of lettuce, patty. Now I like to add a little bit of spice. Sometimes I like a sriracha, nice hot sauce, or sometimes I like a little bit of sweet chili sauce. Now if you'd like my recipe for a homemade sweet chili sauce, head to my YouTube channel because I've got a recipe there just for you. Thank you.